This evil boy has profaned the gods. His punishment will be an example and an atonement. His hands for thievery, his tongue for lying. But I'm telling the truth. Silence, boy. You will not speak. Why don't you deserve this? This has nothing to do with you. Back away. The boy will get what he deserves. I serve so big. I serve so big. I am a slave. Boy, what are you accused of? I was charged with ferrying two gold sobeks to Crocodilopolis. Just out of port, my ship sank by the lighthouse. I almost drowned. The statues were lost. I didn't steal them. Silence! And you, step back, Sahedi. Wait. Do not threaten me, Neb. I am a Magi. If the boy speaks the truth, I will find your gold sobex. If he lies, he is yours to deal with. I should check the big Octarim ship. Oh.
recent shipwreck. This could be it. The golden statue of Sobek. Beautifully made. Just as the boy said it would be. That last dive was a good one. Look into this. What are you doing here? statue of Sobek. It is beautiful. The boy tells the truth. I should return these gold Sobeks to that odious priest.
Examine your hearts. Judge yourselves before the God. Priest, I have your precious golden sorbex. Your novice spoke the truth. This useless boy has been constant trouble. Many more punishments await him for his carelessness. Your police clothing is just a mask for cowardice! God, the gods are hid masks. This has nothing to do with you, Saheti. Crawl back into your desert hole! I am Medjai, you dishonorable dog. I have the authority here, Medjai. God! Temple will not accept me. Sobek has left the fate of this gold with you. You can return to the temple or to your family. The choice is yours. May Sobek be with you. Whatever you do, do it honorably. Egypt needs priests who do not wear masks. <laughs>
Jack and his Sigiliot. I don't want you playing with him. The man beast lives there. Do you want to be cut and beaten? <laughs> Gladiatorial arena. So the crocodile recruits from this place for his personal army. I need to find out more about it. Beridovix, the loyal servant of death. His scythe will ever reap the unworthy. Excuse me. What can you tell me about this place? Can't you see? It's an arena for Roman blood sport. Barbaric, if you ask me. But it's found favor with those desperate to forget their troubles. It used to be a temple. It should have been left that way. <laughs> Diovikos, the living embodiment of war. His fists are deadlier than any weapon. <laughs> hey, Neb, what can you tell me about the men who fight here? Men? These are not men, they're gods. You've never seen such savage warriors. They could break you in half with one strike. Ah. Do any of them have red hair? 
gods among gods, have you never heard of the brothers from Gaul? Can't you feel their eyes on you? Their statues are beside me. Sir. Are you the owner here? Yes, I am the owner. Felix Martialis. Who are you? Another rough knuckle no name seeking fame? I only want entry to the arena. I heard you have got a fighter worth watching. With red hair? Ah, you mean the Gallic brothers. You heard right. But let me save you some time, camel boy. You cannot afford it. Now piss off before you scare away someone who can. Sir, this man wears a Magi badge. Mehmed what? <laughs> I do not even care. Can you fight? You look the part, like a vicious, mangy dog. <laughs> nah, nah. I have already got an Egyptian. A huntress from Siwa, who's worth three of you. She frequents the obelisk in the East End if you want an impromptu beating. It is the only way inside this arena. Fight in the streets, and the gladiator can bring you in. So, the Gallic brothers are involved in Shadia's murder. Why are they doing the crocodile's bidding? I need to get inside and learn more. The arena owner mentioned a C1 gladiator to the east at an obelisk. I wonder if I know her. Siwa is a small place. I should go and see. Segregation of Greek and Egyptian communities is now necessary. Out of the way! There's the C1. Wait. That looks like... This was a good place to, to prosper. Hmm? <laughs> but I never expected to find you here, Kensa. <laughs> what can I say? I heard the call of the arena. <laughs> can you believe it? I am a gladiator now. Huh? 
<laughs> but come, come. Let us talk. And drink. <laughs> I'm telling you, Bayek, I am so close to my dream. If only I was given the chance, I know I could become champion. I mean wealth, luxury, fame. What more could a woman want? Huh? That's why I came to Fayum. To make a new life for myself and bury the past. But I was turned away from the arena doors. <laughs> so you have finally given up trying to put the world to rights. Good. Such things are impossible. Felix is slow to trust outsiders. But do not worry. With my backing, we'll soon be fighting side by side. First, we drink. And in the morning, we can go to the arena for the proper introductions. Eh, it's good to have you here, old friend. My informant was beaten, and his goods, mine really, taken from him. The parasite who did this is me. Do me a favor, Bayek. Deal with them slowly. Then take whatever you find as your reward. Here are vigilant. What? That's it. Die.
I want this man to be my partner. As it happens, the Iberian was torn apart by lions yesterday. I may have an opening. And if Kensa vouches for you... You will need a title if you're going to team up, though. How about the C1 Warriors? I think the Guardians of Siwa would be more fitting. Is that memorable enough for you? I have heard worse. Come inside. Where combatants wait their turn on the sand. What you smell is sweat, blood, and not a little offer. If you are predisposed to shitting your armor, this is where to do it. There is no pharaoh or god in the arena to protect you, Magi. <laughs> this is where you will probably die. Try to do it with drama, it pleases the crowd. On the off chance you live, you will be rewarded with glory and fame. And another chance to die. Such is the short but luminous life of a gladiator. All right, who do we have? Ah, there is Callistos. Callistos, a former soldier of Ptolemy who claimed to know how to handle his sword. Horus, he was my best fighter once, but age ruins us all. He is not much more than a bedpan now. He trains the novices. Is that armor from Ptolemy's army? Most of the fighters cannot afford their own armor. In any case, it is soon ruined. The army does not miss a few suits here and there, and it adds to the authenticity. Speaking of authenticity, in the arena, you use the weapons I give you. There are no exceptions. You already know Kensa, whose glowing but suspect recommendation brought you here. Bayek! Crocodilopolis welcomes another champion! Or another bag of blood and shit. I want to see if he can fight. And who better to test him than the one who recommended him? <laughs> what do you say? Ready to draw a sword, old Magi? <laughs> Let's see if you have improved. I promise. Oh, not bad, old man! <laughs> How is that for all? Oh, you need more style than you. Slash. <laughs> But you have got a pleasing vicious trick for a sand dog. Okay, Kinsa. You've got a new partner. We open the door soon. Be ready. These are the scraps that Felix wants to throw our way. <laughs> they make a poor meal, my brother. <laughs> I'm going to slice off your balls and feed them to you. Our main obstacle to glory, the Gallic brothers. I know who they are. C1 fighter. I look forward to humiliating you in battle many times. I joke, of course. We might be pitted against each other out there, but that's all the more reason to stand together in here. I'm glad to hear it. But why does one of Ptolemy's soldiers risk his life in the arena? I have trouble obeying orders, and the army frowns on that. But I have a family to support, so here I am. Have you ever challenged the brothers? Viridovix and the Ovikos? I haven't been thought worthy yet. In that, I consider myself fortunate. Are you well, my friend? You seem distracted. Don't worry, you will lose your nerves after the first fight. I am fine. But you have not yet told me how you came to be here. Now that is a story. I was taken as a slave during Ptolemy's time in Siwa. 
A sick beast named Septimius and his clan were going to use me. But I managed to get a sword and make my escape. <laughs> I traveled here where Felix took me in and trained me. But enough about the past, huh? I can't tell you how happy I am to share this good fortune with you. Soon the crowd will worship you. Almost as much as they worship me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Let us split the sun in two with our swords. Oh, ho! you are primed indeed. Let Felix know when you are ready for our first match. The sooner we start, the sooner we are champions. <laughs> Any surgery? You are Horus, are you not? Felix told me you are the trainer here. That my choice, Gaelic brothers. Hurt me. My head would have killed me if Felix did not stop them. What can you tell me about them? You don't want to fight them. They are strong and fast, and they like killing. For them, it's fun. Sport. We are ready. <laughs> are you? <laughs> Everyone thinks they are ready till they get a fist in the face. I am starting you against a few novices. If you survive, we will talk about more. Two warriors against the odds. The crowds love unfair fights. Do not disappoint them. Or me. No, Miss Leo Jerian. Are they screaming for our blood or for theirs? Any blood will do. No such thing as innocent here. Do not save your blade, brother. They certainly will not. Every man here knows the risks. You're taken to this new life easily. Can you see the look on their faces? Oh, they adore me, Bayek. The men, the women. And everything I want. There is to be good stuff. These two sand bandits are tougher than they look. Concentrate on the next round. For annoying me, I am adding lions this time. 
They have not eaten for days. You are their dinner. Find me when you are ready. What Kemsa says is true. Any of the gladiators could be working for the crocodile. There might be evidence here of the jobs the Gallic brothers did. Maybe even the identity of their patron. We are on our way, old friend. After all this time, I might finally get my shot at the Gallic brothers. And it's thanks to you. Hey, I would like nothing more. What about these other contracts you mentioned earlier? Oh, the righteous Bayek is willing to dirty his hands. Times have changed, Seni. I suppose it is hard to be a Magi all the time. You will have to ask Felix about those. Quietly. The best way to reach the crocodile is to beat the Gallic brothers. As if I needed more reason to slit the throats of Shadia's killers. Felix. I've had some gladiators are chosen for... extra work. You heard wrong. And if there was an arrangement, you would have much more to do to earn your way in. <laughs> your job, you upstart dog noble, is to fight. That is it. You earn your gold in a pit, or you do not earn it. Then that is what I will do. We are ready. Finally. They are asking about you too at the arena in Sari. Put on a good show and we all profit. Fight lions. <laughs> Only when Felix can get them. They are much more expensive than men volunteering for a beating. There seems little honor in killing animals. Killed or be eaten. This it's caged. We will be fine. As long as we can free it. Lions were caged. <laughs> there are no rules in the arena, Sandy. Is that Callistos? What happened? I warned him. He took a bad job. Just another blunt instrument for them to break against their enemies. Do you know who hired him? No. Felix won't tell you. That's how this works. Some die. Some get rich. And everyone keeps quiet. Oh, 
Where's Kinsa? Her talents were required elsewhere today. You are going to have to win this one alone. You will be fine. Another errand? Like the one that killed Callistos? Watch your tone, sword meat. What happened to Callistos was unfortunate. But he knew the risks. Fighters who ask too many questions do not survive. It is a dangerous job. Accidents happen. I am only keen to prove myself. Then win this match. You will get your chance against the brothers. Beat them, and you will be noticed. Is Kenzo okay? Holy Anubis. I have to win this. Sorry I left you to fight alone, but I hear you did me proud. Felix and you out on a job. Who was it for? I'll tell you everything in good time, brother. Just know that our future has never looked brighter. So, your turn to fight the brothers. I, I won't say good luck. You won't get any. But listen to me. They are too strong together. That's how they beat me. Separate, separate them. Fight one, one at a time, and maybe you live. Thank you, Horus. But don't worry. I am not dying today. There are worse things than dying. 
Be careful. have done well for a country Conrad. Your time has come. The crowd is bored with Viridovics and Diovicos destroying opponents with ease. I am counting on you to make this entertaining. One more thing. Do not kill anyone. I want my top four fighters alive for rematches. I have given the Gauls the same order. All right! We will not kill them. But no promises about pain and humiliation. <laughs> this is it, Bayek. Our big moment. They will build monuments and scroll our names across temples after this. We will be adored, rich, and champions! Here are the contenders to the crown! The guardians of Siwa! Undefeated, unmatched, it's the Garlic Brothers! The Gallic brothers are defeated! You kill the child called Shadia! That is the least you deserve! We didn't kill her as well! We have done many terrible things, Siwan! But the murder of the child is not one of them! All hail the new champions! We were there. The guardians of Siwa! Capture the girl and take her to Berenike! To, to the crocodile! It was she who drowned the child, took a book from her, ordered a stone tied to her ankles, and pushed her in the water. There was nothing we could do. 
This is the real reason you came to me, isn't it? To uncover this patron, this crocodile. Bayek, why didn't you confide in me? Huh? I would have helped you. You're a mercenary, just no. like them. I couldn't take the chance. What fate awaits the fallen? No. Will it be life? Bayek. Or death? You know me better than... Death. Bayek, you have to go! So it was Berenike. She is the crocodile. She is the one who killed Sharia. She is the one who has brought ruin to so many. She calls herself the sponsor of Fayum's prosperity and culture. And her influence is felt throughout the region. Her wealth comes from her estate north of the city, Kerkesucha Granary, the largest in all of Egypt. She has arranged a symposium with others of influence in Fayum. Every night, she retires to her villa, where she courts their favor with bribes and silvered words. Then that is where I will find her. Thank you for everything, my friend. What will you do now? I will retire to our family villa. I need a drink. Henut and I must mourn in peace. Farewell, Bayek. Once you have done what you must, we would be glad to see you again. There's the granary Hotofre spoke of. The crocodile must be inside.
most of my grain is taken by taxes and soldiers. I barely have enough left to eat. Is this shit what they mean by prosperity? And what? And it's thanks to our honorable lady. We are all humble beneficiaries of her elegance, education, and impeccable taste. Culture for all. The Fayum has never been safer. Never fail. Yes, my lady. Hide a wonderful secret. Kensa, is this the luxury you sought? To be a slave to an enemy of Egypt? Fayun is the happy recipient of the best in Greek culture. And it's thanks to our honorable lady. We are all humble. Lady of the villa, who has done as much for the Bible? It is to her we owe our allegiance and our lasting thanks. Culture for all. The magnificent statues of Aphrodite you see around the villa grounds hide a wonderful scene. These images of the goddess of beauty were all modeled after our honorable lady of the villa. Bayou is the happy recipient of the best in Greek culture. And it's thanks to our honorable lady. We are all humble beneficiaries of the elegance, education, and Clear the way. of you. Shadia. Who? Shadia! She was the child you drowned! Like all of your kind, you fail to see what greatness lies in store for Egypt. Is that what you tell yourself? You do not remember those you killed. She was the child of Henut and Hotefres. 
Hainaut was a stubborn rock. That ledger would have meant the end to all our hopes. He destroyed families. <laughs> I did what had to be done. I will destroy everything you stand for, Berenike! And I will destroy all others like you! But for now, all that matters is that you killed Shadia! And the last word you will remember is her name! Shadia! I wonder how hot the and Henut are. I should visit them. up that blade I found. to do this. It's them or me. If you're listening to this, you work for Abstergo, and I'm dead. Do me a favor, and make sure Sophia Rickin hears it. My dream was to work on the Animus Project. I waited 12 years. Waiting got me nowhere. So I built an Animus that lets me access anyone's memories, even ancestors not my own. I even witnessed the origins of the Assassins. Artifacts, tombs that were supposed to be stuff of legends, I found them. By killing me, you've lost all this knowledge. I understand why you thought I had to die. But did you have to kill my best friend? Why did she? Oh, Habibti, I should have listened to you. No more painkillers left. Killed all these naked Yadet. Apollodorus must be told. To Heraklion. <laughs> 